It's been months. I'm so excited. I'm on my way to an estate sale from my favorite estate sale company. Why are they my favorite estate sale company? Because I can usually get great bargains from them. Not always, but sometimes they are just unbelievable. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed and heading on out. You guys can join me. Oh, look at all my little pies. These guys are cute too. Cuties over here. <laughs> Some of these are cute. I don't know. I think they want to sell all of them. All of them for five dollars. I don't need all these candles. That's kind of interesting. All right, so I picked up a lot of wonderful things there. I spent a total of sixty-five dollars, and I grabbed this. This is a vintage Christmas book. Um, it, you know, it has some wear and tear on it, but it's beautiful. The illustrations are fabulous. I'm trying to look for date. MCMXL. Eh. Cover came loose. Um, it's Whitman, 19 MCMXL. That's going to be 1940. Um, but beautiful, lovely illustrations on that. Also in the basement, you probably saw me pick this up. Um, I picked up a whole box full of bingo cards. I use these in art um, and crafts. I, I love to use them, so that's why I grabbed those. Of course, I didn't film that much there, namely because when I walked through the door, all of the good stuff that was in the pictures that I went for, it was still there. So I was just grabbing. Um, I did not get a chance to pull out my camera and film. So there are several different types of bingo boards in here. You have the black ones, which are probably my favorites. Got some yellow ones, the blue ones, very fun. Oh, here's even a different kind. Oh, this is the calling, the bingo calling card. And then we have, we have some of the wooden bingo things. We have some of the plastic ones. I don't know if you can see that. There's even a couple of di um, dice in there. So, yeah, I was happy to have that. that that's like a find for me. <laughs> Found this guy. Look, he's an Empire Tabletop Santa Blow Mold from 1968. I actually have a little collection of these, so I don't know if he's going to stay with me or not. Or, um, yeah, we'll see. He is a little scuffed up, and he does not have his lighting... Um, you know stuff in him but uh, if I don't already have him he'll stay with me if not he'll probably uh, be available you guys may have seen me pick these up if you've been watching for a while and <laughs> I grabbed these old um, muffin tins cupcake tins 
because of the pattern here. I use these in art to do coffee dyeing and tea dyeing for junk journal papers, collage papers. And I don't have this one. This is a very interesting pattern on here that I don't have. And on the front, we've got these little uh, things there. So this is going to be a fun one to use. I got so many littles. It's not even funny. So these are newer, um, but I bought a whole bunch of these. I don't know what they actually charged me for them. They were originally asking a dollar a piece. So today they would have been 50 cents, but hopefully they gave them to me for less than that um because i'm not even sure 50 cents is a good price but i thought i would use them as packet package toppers i thought they would be really cute for that so i grabbed a whole handful and went crazy over the littles um i collect these little felt flocked santas these mostly seem to be i don't know i don't think i have any with this little face on them um, I think they're a little bit different, so I don't know if they're newer or what, but I, I don't think I have them. And then I thought these little snowmen were cute. I was testing them for a second just to make sure that they weren't, um, spun cotton, but they do have the little chenille arms. I love them. They, I don't think they're spun cotton, they're plastic, um, flocked plastic, but very cute. This guy might be a spun head. Um, he feels a little bit different than the other ones. I'm, I have, <laughs> it takes me a while to really determine sometimes stuff if it's not readily apparent to me, but nonetheless, I really loved him. He's probably going to hang out with me. So they had a whole set of these. One, two, three, four, there's five of them. Um, and they are the little bisque made in Japan figurines. Somebody's painted them. They don't come this way. <laughs> And each and every one of them has damage. Um, but I needed to rescue them. Basically, they gave them to me um, because I was willing to rescue them. Um, I mean, look at her. You can tell her little head has come off. You can see on the back. But, you know, I mean, they're really cute. They're very vintage. I wish they weren't painted. Um, but I'm sure, you know, I mean free is the best price so I'm sure I can make a little bit on them um, but they certainly won't be you know top dollar since they're painted and, and damaged but very cute like I said there's five of them she might have had all kinds of so you don't know what what's underneath that paint I don't think they knew they were damaged either to be quite honest with you because they did have $20 marked on them until I, I told them as I started looking at them <laughs> they were all damaged. And then they just gave them to me. I liked this candle. This Christmas candle with the scene. So I grabbed that. These I think are newer. But I could not resist these witches with pumpkin candles. Those are so wonderful. I was happy to get those. I picked up five of these little baby putz house ornaments. I don't know, they've got felt on the bottom of them, so I really don't know anything about them, but I got them for a good deal, so, so I grabbed them. I got a whole set of these little, little guys here. They're so cute. Little bulldog, a little kitty cat. I love to grab these too. These are actually good to use in art if they don't have any value. This one might not. But it's also good to use in sculptures. And this one is orange, so it'd be really cute to use in a Halloween sculpture of some sort. Another little flocked Santa. This guy's cute, isn't he? He's a single shaker. He's amazing. Oh, he's got damage. I see these guys and I get so excited about them because they're so stinking cute and I don't even notice. I really don't even notice because for me it's not an issue, but he's got multiple repairs on him. <laughs> but I love him. This next set of items is really why I went to the sale. So yeah, I was really excited when I still saw them on the table. So let me share them with you. I got this little bunny. I got this little bunny. I think they were originally candy containers, but they have rice in them right now to hold them up. This one, 
Got this one. It's like an instant collection of these kind of little bunnies. They're really cool. This guy's older and he's fabulous. Look at this Dreamland bunny. Isn't he wonderful? Love him. Look at this little lammy. Isn't this cute? Very cute. This one I found in the garage with all of their planters and stuff. He has a little, um, he's discolored. I don't know if that if he'll clean off and come off of there, but I really like him. He's Stan Manufacturing. I think he's from 1958 is what I see on there. So um, even if he doesn't clean up, I still think he's real cute. I thought these were cute. The price was right, so I grabbed them. They are, of course, made in Japan. One, have, one has its stopper and the other one does not. We picked up some enamel jewelry. There's this beautiful brooch. Pick this up. This is gorgeous. Look at this necklace. And then it has the earrings that match. So pretty. Some more enamel jewelry. These are really cool. If these don't sell, um, these would be really cool in an assemblage piece. I thought this brooch was really interesting. It's an old perfume bottle. Very, very neat. An atomizer perfume bottle. Look at this little deer brooch. I believe that's Mother of Pearl on, on its back. Very, very cute. Look at this little Santa pin from 1970, what does it say, 1975. Adorable. Love it. I've picked up a few little Santa pins like this recently. Um, yeah, they're a lot of fun. They had a really good time there, and like I said, a little bittersweet because I found out that they're trying to transition over to the online sales. They're doing more of them over there. And, you know, they did the, the in-person all through COVID, so this is recently. I haven't seen them since November or December in an um, in-person sale. So I'm a little disappointed about that. Um, I They think they can make more money online. Um, so, I mean, more power to them, but I'm going to miss them. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you like this kind of content, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And above all, please leave me a comment. If you don't know what to say, just say hi. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.